Tonight, our Clemson Tigers travel to Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina in search of their third straight ACC championship. It would be the 17th in school history. And all that stands in the way are the Miami Hurricanes. I love y'all boys, y'all know what it is. We can't fail when we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing, all we gotta do is communicate. Let's communicate, let's fly around. Let's swag out on three. One, two, three, swag. Tiger, and it's about to be sweeter because we're going to the Sugar Bowl. See y'all in New Orleans. Three, the hard way. I'm out. We back. Did y'all boys not get the memo? My stock been going up like a crescendo. A bunch of handshakes from the fakes. But I do not want to be friends though. They're proud of the fact that they've won their third consecutive ACC championship and they are poised for a number one ranking and moving forward to see who they're going to face in the Sugar Bowl. That's the story here at Clemson. Let's see who number one is. The number one coming to You know, number four and going to the playoff to face Clemson will be... Oh! We just got picked number one, playing Bama in New Orleans. Oh yeah, that's, that's big. That's big. You're we excited know. about it. Three years in a row. Yes, sir. We do this. Let's get it. All right, bro. <laughs> Tell me how you feel about being number one, bro. Man, how you feel? We knew, I already knew that we was gonna be number one. Number one. We put in the work all year, and it was everybody was remembering November, so pretty straight right now. And we deserved it. Mm, how you feel? How you feel about being number one, real quick, dog? Yeah, yeah, man. You already knew what it was. Yeah. Yeah, doing that work. Doing okay. Okay. How you feel about being number one? Ah, uh, back to the Nola we go. <laughs> How you feel about being number one, man? Hey, man. You work hard. You play even harder. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We won the ACC in Charlotte. And so uh, now they're about to honor us at the basketball game at halftime. Hey man, you know, man, it feels good to be out here. That's what we do. Shut up. We no more. We no more. We no more. Lay it out. Lay it out. Lay it
What's up? This is DJ Gordon, Assistant Director of Football Operations and Creative Media at Clemson. Yesterday we ate pizza and watched a selection show. We're number one, Alabama's number four. So today, on Monday, we're on our way to New Orleans to visit the Sugar Bowl to do a site visit. We're in Detroit right now, and I think we're about to miss our flight. We made it. On to New Orleans. We're touring around the Hilton Riverside, getting uh, familiar with the property where the team will be staying. As a New Orleans native, it's good to be back home, seeing a whole lot of places I've never been before, so really excited to be here and look forward to coming back in late December. We've got all fours blocked two through five. This is going to be one of our standard rooms. So this is the connecting Okay, screen. so this is what's... Hi y'all, welcome to New Orleans. Working with the Clemson team, working on food and beverage for the team and organization. Um, I'm here with also Gianna Baldwin, Assistant Director of Catering and Events. We've uh, accomplished a lot in a couple of hours and it certainly has been a pleasure. We look forward to welcoming everyone. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so there, there's times for uh, going a little bit off the, the deep end and this will be one of them. And then we'll clean right back up. So we just toured the Hilton Riverside. We looked at the meeting rooms, looked at the hotel rooms. Uh, we looked at where we're gonna eat, hospitality rooms, everything that we're gonna need during our stay at the Sugar Bowl. We're out here at Tulane, we're actually gonna practice in their game stadium, which is awesome. It's a great setup here. So we're in here meeting with their equipment guys, their administrative staff, their athletic training staff, their weight staff, and we're getting an idea of what we're gonna do uh, while we're here. I'm the director of special events here at Tulane, Clemson grad 06 and 2010, and I'm excited for them to come and check out this sweet facility. So we're in the Superdome here in New Orleans, and we're currently doing a site visit, doing a tour of the locker room, the field, the training room, coaches locker room, everything that we're going to use throughout the day, suites, coaches booth, and uh, we're getting to try to figure out how we're going to do, uh, how we're going to address over 100 players in an NFL locker room that only has 89 lockers. What do you want in the background? That Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Hey guys, Mike Dooley here. We're here at the uh, Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Uh, it's a great experience for me. I did grow up a Saints fan, so this is pretty awesome. The one to, the, to our left. So we're here checking out the coach's booth. Abe's gonna get us set up with all of our communications and everything for our coaches. Let's see what the coaches are gonna see. Oh Lord, beignets, hot. Can't leave New Orleans without them. About to put on an exhibition of beignet eating. I thought they were little. I thought they were like, I thought they were like donut holes. Hi, I'm Anna Louise Carter, and I am down in New Orleans planning events for Clemson alumni and fans and the Clemson family, and I can't wait to come back to New Orleans. Super excited to be in the college football playoff for the third year in a row. Go Tigers! I'm uh, Tim Hurlbert, I'm the assistant director of bands. I had a great time here in New Orleans uh, checking out the facilities for the band, uh, some practice sites and meeting about uh, our performances. Looking forward to our uh, Tiger Band taking over New Orleans. We've done the site visit, we've seen the hotel at the Hilton Riverside, we've seen two lanes practice facilities, we've seen the Superdome, we went to the Saints practice facility in case it rains we can practice in their indoor facility. So we've seen everything we need to see, we're headed back to Clemson and then we'll be back here in New Orleans on the 27th for the Sugar Bowl. See you then. Like this? And then do I click or anything? Or is nope, it ready? Hi, this is Melissa. I'm a Clemson Tiger. I graduated from there in 1993. So excited to see Clemson Tigers on the airplane. Go Tigers. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justin Falsonelli. I'm all dressed up, coming back from NBA classes, but ready to get into this finals week, get my, get my school done and just be able to focus on football. You know, uh, first freshman semester, uh, you know, going into finals week is hard. You know, uh, all the studying I gotta do, you know, it's, I got like three tests. So I gotta get get to work, you know. So it's gonna be hard. It's, I, I wouldn't say stressful, but you have to be on top of it. I mean, I I set myself a good for final week because I have like two papers, but I really been working on those. So I kind of got those done early. So there's really not much but studying for the tests that I do have. I have like two tests Monday, and I feel really good about those tests. Okay, it's your boy Killer B. As you see, that rhymes. I'm about to get on the radio for the first time. It's an honor. Look, man. We I just honored. Yep. Just knocked that out. First radio show. Done. Okay, so as you can see, you know, I'm not, this is not my fly as a tire, but I just got on a little, little, little sauce for him. 
have class, you know, of course, got to be a student before you're an athlete. So, you know, it's a really busy week for all the guys. We got final exams coming up next week. We built for this, you know. With that sign say over there, I don't know if you can see it, but best is the standard. So I'm feeling great. Uh, the team's feeling great after, you know, that big ACC championship win over Miami. And for us, man, to be able to go to New Orleans and play Alabama in the Sugar Bowl, uh, we can't wait. We're excited. We know the fans will be ready to rock and roll with us. Never been there before, but looking forward to that great atmosphere and some great Cajun food. It's going to be my first time in New Orleans. Uh, I was always a Saints fan when I was little, but, you know, that changed. I'm a Bengals fan now. Don't hate. Don't hate. But, uh, you know, Travis, he ain't told me about none of the food yet, but I'm pretty sure he will. Just going back home to Louisiana, I'm most definitely excited about the food. I mean, I have to try the gumbo, the etouffee, shrimp, um, crawfish etouffee, get you some fried catfish, some fried shrimp, uh, beignets, uh, beignets with etouffee inside. I mean, you definitely have to try everything. I mean, it's all great. Uh, you definitely can't go around with the food. I mean, you get you some fried oysters, um, char grill oysters. I mean, we definitely have everything. You'll like it. I mean, you won't be disappointed. So I know a lot of you all has been trying to steal my sound. So, you know, I, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, where, what, what kind of sound is that? How do you spell it? You know, where did it come from? Okay, I'm going to ask one question at a time. It comes from, you know, me being at Abbeville High School, some of my good friends, they know who they are. You know, he came up with the sound, so, you know, we just something I've been saying, you know, as the time come, a lot of guys on the team is, you know, starting to take it as, and run with it as well. Then also on campus, a lot of students, y'all have been saying, you know, everybody see it, you know, I hear, Meow. yeah, yeah, like that. You know, ACC championship, you know, gonna be a, another, another one. Is it already on there? Oh, they already got it on there. As y'all know, we on to the next one, um, the, the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. And man, it's gonna be a great experience. I know everybody has their own, you know, reasons why they love just playing in New Orleans and getting this opportunity. But for me personally, just because, you know, some of my favorite um, musicians and people that I grew up listening to are from New Orleans, such as Master P. So I can't wait, you know, no limit. That's my thing, I love it. First time for me, looking forward to the seafood. I'm gonna get my grub on, but, you know, but we're down there to play a football game, first and foremost. I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, just playing in a playoff game. It was a dream come true, you know, just watching it on TV last year. It's, it's like I ain't always wanted to do that, but you know, it's my first time in college. Get to play in the playoffs, get to play against Bama. You can't beat that. No, no, no. You! Hey, ACC champs, right? <laughs> no.